All right, what I am doing now is I'm getting set up in something called a wall squat. You won't be able to see my head on this, I'm sorry. It's just me operating the camera today. But what you're going to do is you get up against the wall, you keep your back nice and flat. Of course, now the ball's coming over to me. Okay. Um, you bring your feet forward, okay, so that you're kind of out at an angle. And I'm sorry if you can't see my feet, but I figured that would be less annoying um, to not see the feet. The, the toes are straight ahead. You want to lift off the instep, insteps of your feet, which means that your arches will be off the floor, okay? Keep your back pressed to the wall, but not, not, not so much where you can fit your whole, you know, forearm behind you as far as the low back is concerned. Just enough for your fingers to slide back there. So if you have a big arch, tuck your, tuck your pelvis under until just your fingers are kind of snug back there. What you do is you bring your hands out so that they're like an anatomy drawing, okay? And you just hold this pose, okay? Everything is in alignment. Now, this is sort of like the, the middle of the road version. If you are not able to hold this pose, um, but you can go up a little bit higher, okay? That's okay. You work yourself into it. So the next time you do this, you bring yourself down just a little bit, okay? and try to maintain the same amount of time. You know, start off with three seconds, or five seconds, or 10 seconds. Ideally, you get up to 30 seconds to a minute, okay? Um, if this is too easy to do, and let's say you're down here, the next um, version is you bring your foot a little bit more forward for your supporting leg, and you have one leg that goes out, okay? And then you try to hold that for a certain, amount of time, you know, up to 30 seconds or a minute, okay, this is tough, so you don't need any weight for this, any, any dumbbells, I'm not against dumbbells, but I'm just saying, if you don't have them, this is a great workout, um, we're going to move on to the next one, so that's a wall squat, okay, your legs are going to be tired, so we're going to give them a break, and the next thing we're going to do is another set of shoulder blade push-ups, okay, I, I can't get enough of these things, because if you're going to be adding weight eventually, let's say you're, you're going to be doing actual push-ups, or you know, a bench press or something like that. I want you to have a strong, stable shoulder, uh, you know, girdle. Okay, a girdle, a goidle. Okay, and get it strong first before you start adding loads to it. Okay, I want you to be safe on this. So, great exercise. You can do it in your warm-up. I, I totally advocate that. Go back. We're going to add it now to the actual workout. Okay. Um, or the meat and potatoes, I should say. I mean, it's all good. It's all good stuff. Again, if you need to be on your knees for this, you see how I'm angled? I'm not a box. But my butt isn't, you know, 90 degrees here. I'm trying to keep that, actually, this whole angle, you know, 180. Okay? So I'm tucking under the pelvis, keeping this tight, not letting this sag, okay? And if you want a little extra, add some tension here to your glutes, to your rear end. Okay? You can opt to do this on your knees or you can opt to do it on your toes, all right? And if the toes are easy, you can go with one foot, okay? So that's just another way to progress it to make it harder. So again, everything is nice and tight. My shoulders are right above the heels of my hands. I'm not letting my head sag, and I'm going about 15 reps on this, okay? I'm really feeling this in the shoulder joints and elsewhere because this has to be this has to make my midsection nice and tight, you know, the core area, like all around the midsection and the rear end. So this is a great core exercise, too. So you're really working a lot of different things here, and therefore you're increasing your metabolism by including lots of different muscles, and your nervous system is going like, well, okay, let me keep up with this. So it's all good for the brain, too. Okay, I think I'm about good on that. Um, next thing I'm going to work on... It's called, oh gosh, this is another awesome thing for the shoulders. Now, you can opt to go back and do a wall squat and another set of scapula depressions. And if you want to do a third time around, you can go back and do that. Or you can run through the whole workout, you know, two or three times. So if you're ready to go on to the next thing, these will be some additional shoulder uh, strengthening and shoulder stabilizing exercises that you can do on your stomach. I show this to my Fit Camp class. It is tough as nails, but I think they like it a lot, you know, because you, you get really strong with that, okay? So we're going to line our stomachs, and we're going to do a series of Y arms, T 
T's and letter A's. Okay, it's awesome. So that's our next thing, and I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit so you can see me a little bit better, okay?